we are aware of the uh, fetch uh, simulations but this is another website that gives us uh, quite a bit of uh, simulations one second and just share my screen Uh, teachers, I'd like you to ask, uh, I, I'd like to ask a question. Could you please let me know if you're able to see Ms. Lakshmi's screen, if you could put a yes in the chat box, or if you would like to um, put a thumbs up. Okay, Ms. Varsha okay. says yes. Thank you, Ms. Yes, Varsha. Yes. Ms. Lakshmi, yes, please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Garima, Ms. Shrishti. Go ahead, Ms. Lakshmi. Yeah, so uh, now this, as you see, this is uh, vascac.cz. This is the website link, and I can post it later in the resource uh, sheet that we are preparing for you. Now, here you have different simulations. I just took one. So when you click on this website, you actually see this page. I'll take you to the main page, how it looks. I hope you, it's visible to you. Just uh, show me a thumbs up. So even if I don't log into the resource, as in I don't sign into this particular website, I can still check for simulations. So if I have to teach, so I felt this was the easiest one, the gravity one. Science teachers can make uh, the most of this because they can teach every concept using this. So for example, if a person is traveling, uh, taking a lift, and if there is zero gravity, then how would the picture look? So the simulation is just there, and you can see the person actually slowly, you know, being airlifted side of kind of a thing. And then if it is negative, that is less than sorry negative i'm saying less than zero yes in the negative then again how does the image uh, look like or how will we feel when there is no gravity or there's less gravity so i feel this is just one simulation that i showed you you have uh, for every topic the simulations are very simple and the children can themselves click on the buttons and understand the concepts i use it for my son because it becomes very easy when you're talking about uh, all the uh, concepts in physics, be it magnetism, be it uh, the incident rays in the prism, everything is visible through this uh, particular website, I feel. So I think you can take a look, the science teachers can take a look at this. Now, going on to my favorite subject, that is economics and English, uh, I'll take you to a website. I don't know how many economics teachers are there. Can I have a show of hands? Do I have any? Uh, in that case, I can take it further. Uh, Raki, can you see anyone? Because I can't see that screen. Do I have any eco teacher there? Then probably this would be a good resource. None of the hands are raised, so should I or not? Um, because that's a wonderful I think we can take a poll. Should we get into uh, the details of this or should we move ahead? You can let us know in the comment section. Yes. Yeah. Should we move ahead or should we go ahead? What is it? What do they say? So I don't think there are uh, any economic teachers. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll go on to the next one. That is, for English teachers, we always have a problem uh, giving them topics. That is, composition topics to write. So we always think of the different genres that we have, be it story or uh, be it a uh, descriptive passage or a narrative piece. So for that, my go-to website is the Reese Prompts. This is wonderful. Also, we as teachers can go into it and you know we can write our own um, pieces. They give, they pose a challenge every uh, week and the topic keeps on changing. So if you see the categories, you have a lot of categories and for every age group, you have the topics. So you can choose a particular genre, you can, uh, a typical, say, if you want to write a descriptive passive passage, you can choose one from it. A story writing prompt, you can choose from it. And I feel uh, you can also read and give them examples from here because there are some prize winning, like as you can see the thing here, the uh, emoji here stating he's a winner with a cup there. So you can read the piece. And if you feel that this is good enough uh, to serve as a resource in your class, you can take a printout and read out in your class. And I choose many topics. I can be, being English teachers, you can always twist and turn the topic. So uh, this gives me a lot of cues. And I feel uh, this is a go-to website. And you will not be disappointed. 
Anyone here who is aware of it, who is using it? I would like to know that. Is anyone using it? Uh, can someone tell me if anybody is raising their hand? Oh, yes, so, so this is something I new. Yeah. It. It's something new that we Oh, you used it? Now. Okay. How did you find it, Nakma, ma'am? I would like to know. Yeah, it's, it's good because especially for my A-level learners and all, you know, when I need passages, prose passages for their papers or maybe, you know, for class discussion, I have used. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful. Yes, I agree. And the prompts are really good. I really like the prompts because yes. they are different and they every week it keeps changing. You have new prompt. It's not the stale old thing. So uh, yes, English yes. teachers, paper two, uh, that helps us, yes. it really, it will be quite helpful to you. One more site, which is very common, but we don't go to, is this site, which is my Britannica. I love this site. And if you're a history teacher, if you're an art teacher, if you're an English teacher or a science teacher, any subject, you have in-depth information here. And uh, especially for papers wherein you want the children to conduct the research and come back, give them this site. And trust me, they'll uh, actually surprise you with the kind of information they get. And it's authentic. So it's not that they're going to pick up anything and they have to run it and check it. So here you have videos also. You do have videos when you have, if you have to teach drama, you have a video of a particular drama being played. Um, so they take you back to those times, how the theater looked and how it was. And to enhance it further, I, I uh, use, uh, I'll tell you, the Neopod wherein I use the virtual tour of the Neopod. For example, I've kept this open. This is the Globe Theatre. And uh, I use this virtual uh, view wherein, you know, I take my children inside and I show them this is how the theatre looked. So they can actually zoom and go. So I, I actually uh, add up all of this. So if I'm teaching, teaching a poem, say the Battle of Blenheim, so first of all, I'll tell them where uh, the Battle of Blenheim is. For that, I also use Google Earth. That's another one. I'll take you to that also and show you how you can make your uh, English lessons very interesting. English or for that matter, any lesson could be uh, made pretty interesting if you're combining these websites together. So for example, if uh, I, I hope you can see my screen. I'm on Google Earth. I'm using Google Earth presently. Can you see that? Is it visible? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, so I type Blenheim and I tell them the current day Blenheim is here. So the location, so I read, so since my network is not working, so uh, I think it's not taking me, but otherwise it takes me to the place. And once I go there, I take them to the street view. So I just do that. Okay, so you, if you can see this, I'm just taking this particular icon and I go to the street view and I see how it looks. So now my website and this uh, network is actually suffering, so it's not taking me. Otherwise, we explore that place using Google Earth and then we move on to the history of Blenheim. We, I, I ask them to find out from using this Britannica resource. They find out and they tell me more about Blenheim. Uh, what was the war all about? We go to the history part of it, we research and we come back. So this is something that I use for literature. And then uh, next one, one second. Okay, so this was pertaining to my economics. So that was all about English, a read say, Britannica and the globe and Neopod. All put together makes a wonderful English lesson. So, Nagma, ma'am, can I, uh, whom should I pass the bait into? Yeah, we have. Uh, uh, th yeah. Thank you so much, Ms. Lakshmi, for these fantastic, uh, uh, you know, sites. Um, if you could also like to show us the list of all the other sites that you have compiled for the teachers, it would be like a teaser, a taster for them. And after that, we will request uh, Ms. Hema Chandra. Uh, actually, to it is on. all in one document. Uh, Great. All the website, all, all the website that we'd all put in is in one document. So fantastic. I think 
this is how it looks fantastic so teachers you can see what a treasury uh, miss uh, lakshmi has unearthed for you uh, of course this takes time and effort because you can't just go on the net and pick up just any uh, resource this is all what she has taken a look at this is all of us uh, nagma ma'am all of us yeah, and this is a compiled all compiled of all all yeah. subjects okay, yeah. okay. fair enough fair enough this is not just miss lakshmi this is miss uh, yes. uh, hema and miss uh, we'll be miss sharing Kostan. the link to this Miss Gunjan, this is all of us together, all right. And this is Miss Raki who has compiled everything for us. So thank you for that, Miss Raki. Uh, I now request Miss Hema to take over so that yes, she Ma. can share with us. I'm actually uh, feeling bad because I wanted to share that eco resource a lot. It was such a wonderful resource, but sadly I don't have any eco teacher here. Um, oh, but so. Miss, we could share it because yeah, see, what, this is what we could do is we can have your video separately. you know shared for only Rocky, that particular website this now okay and actually it is just this website i can tell you it's in now miss lakshmi the reason i would request you to share it is because this is being recorded is being live streamed later on teachers who have missed out will wish to take a look once they get the list of websites you know the treasury the uh, uh, you know the whole uh, list that miss rakhi has compiled on our behalf So I'll just you... take a minute to talk about this website. Why Please I love it, ahead. I'll tell you. Yes, yes, uh, this is helpful. Is... And after that, we request Miss Hema to take over. Please go ahead, Miss Lakshmi. Yes. So it is uh, Econed link. Uh, now, why this particular link? I would say because it gives me not only the resources but also a scope for professional development. We all have uh, some mandatory hours to complete in, during the course of the year, right? As teachers. so this particular website gives me a certificate also if i uh, click on the professional development part i will see that i'll have a lot of webinars there based on so it will actually make you a subject matter expert because for every topic you have a webinar that they uh, actually host and you can pick your timing uh, you can fix it in advance it will give you an alert so as as you can see on the screen it says upcoming webinars on demand webinars and it's all about economics and uh, you can just go listen to it it's a half an hour um or a one hour webinars and you get a certificate for it and not only the certificate the webinars are very very informative it's uh, something wherein they uh, tell you more than what you read or teach from the text so it is um, uh, again as i can say it is contemporary they relate to real life issues and they talk about what is happening in different countries and how a particular change say the inflation rate its impact on different countries and its impact on the global economy a war how it affects uh, a small uh, saving how it can impact the entire nation or the country so uh, that is the reason why i love this other than teacher resources it also gives me uh, a scope for professional development so uh, you all can check out and it's a very a uh, lovely resource if you have your teachers in school who are teaching the subject you can suggest them the same and they'll thank you for this yeah over to him ma'am yeah thank you miss lakshmi that was excellent uh, resources uh, cannot wait to log in into each link and try it out for myself and uh, can i share yes, my share. yeah i'll yeah. stop here thank you yeah so here you can see the list of important website which i meant specially for the teachers okay so it includes lesson plan and the uh, project making grammar bites and everything i have used few of them from this list but as i'm more into my forte is into phonics and english grammar i would uh, love to share the web links which i've actually used it and the children have really benefited so this kahoot and all the quiz the flipgrid this i have used but the more detailed one and uh, the best like favorites you know any time uh, you you are sure that you are going to get something from this particular website is i'm going to share it here so here it says the ultimate list of free phonic activities i think i have used almost all of them each and every web link which i have provided here i have tried it and made empty number of resources for my children so how does it look i'm going to open about 5 to 6 websites so that you have a rough idea as to for example the measured mom this is one of the excellent resources i have been almost using it for more than 4 years now even this this reading mama more than 4 to 5 years so i'll just open up a page 
to show you just a second yes yeah i hope you all can see my screen yes we can yeah so here you can see free beginning sound coloring pages this is what you were looking forward for so uh, you have like n number of topics your phonics part is segregated into like 15 to 20 different topics so you know which which topic are you looking for for example a teacher is stuck up Abhi beginning sounds karna hai ke saath. so which kind of worksheets can i give so your topic wise segregation is already there these are beginning sounds after this you have middle sounds you have the ending sounds worksheets also so here you can see three beginning sound coloring pages because you have to connect it with coloring because they are like three to four years kid and this is how they have capital as well as small you just click on the see this the instructions and they have given the sample worksheet how these are their own children the, the children they are uh, teachers children they have just tried and demonstrated on them so that we get a better view better understanding and then in the last you can see here here click to download get your free beginning sound coloring pages in the bottom they always have this click to download as soon as you click on this they have a box popping up wherein you just have to write your email and the whole set of worksheets that is a to z capital as well as small is going to sit in your email okay you have it you have the resources so here they have just shown c alphabet the child doing the c alphabet but as soon as you click on the download the window pops up and then you have the whole set of a to z so you might want to do if you think your kids have picked up on these particular pattern of worksheet you can take the printout of a to z and try it out with your children so this is one of them which i'm using it she has n number of resources topic wise okay so this is measuredmom.com. The second one I would like to move is, uh, one second. Yeah. The second one is This Reading Mama. Okay. One of my most favorite website. And let me take you inside this. Hmm. This Reading Mama, very active uh, teacher she is. And every week you visit, she has something new to share it with the children. So here you can see the worksheet is having like almost five to six different activities. Here you can see a child can trace it. Here the child can circle it. Here the child is trying to find the object. And here they color it, the capital and the small. Okay. So here they have just shown one single worksheet, which is about A activities. Similarly, free hands-on learning, you click on it. And you have A to Z all coming up. Okay, all the worksheets you can take the printout and it can sit at one place. See this dabbing thing? So, the same worksheet, how can you use it in different form? How can you make it more interactive, more creative? These are the simple ideas they have shared it. See how uh, they have put objects, gems, buttons, anything. So, you take the ideas and try to use the worksheet and then share how you did it with your kid children, you know? So download the freebie here. As soon as you click here, as I told you, you will have a window popping up. You write your email and your A to Z worksheet is going to sit in your email. Is it as easy? Yeah. So this was about the reading mama. Then next one I'll take is one, two, three homeschool for me. That belongs to Miss Beth Gordon extremely supportive and cooperative teacher if you need if you need if you're in a need of worksheets like you exactly know what you need okay you can actually email it to her like this is something which i'm looking forward for and she gets back to you within a week or two weeks you know she actually makes one sample to show you is this something you're looking forward for this is all voluntarily done Okay, so if you're clear, like this is something your children needs it, you can always talk to this author. I'm, I'm in touch with her. And here you can see, these are the beautiful hats. Okay, in one A4 size, as in when you are introducing the alphabets to the children, you can make this paper hats, they can wear it and go home. Okay, because many kids are very shy. They don't tell at home which sound did they learn. So when they wear the hat, the parent knows that J. So J has been introduced to them. So you can see how beautifully she has given the objects. The children would be coloring it. And here the instructions have been given. They have put the videos also, how to use these hats in your classroom. See this? 
L A G. You just have to cut it on these lines and then tape it, glue it, and you have. So here you have a child. See this, how beautiful it looks when the children are coloring it. And here, see, she has glued it, cut it, glued it, and see this sample of a child who is wearing this hat. Okay. And the best part, the best part I love about her is the vocabulary that she has used it. For example, here you can see for the hats, which is from A alphabet, see the object she has taken. Usually we tell apple, that is the first thing which comes in our mind, but then she has extended it to axe, airplane, artichoke, apron, anchor, a corn. Similarly, let's check it for Z. So for Z, they have got zeppelin, zebra, zipper, zookeeper, zinia, zucchini, zero. So it is so creative. The children are excited. They finish up like in my classroom, I've used these hats, okay? We have uh, uh, this vowels and consonant introduction, yeah? So they wear these hats and go. So we tell them, once you finish up the uh, worksheet, today's worksheets, you finish up neatly, then you are going to get a hat. So every child. You know, they are excited. Oh, I want to finish my work quickly so that I'm going to get this hat from teacher. We click pictures, we post it in our group and parents are really happy. And the child is able to tell the objects which are there on this hat, okay? So similarly, if you want something with the tie, for example, I sound, right? You have I sound in tie. So for example, if you want something for the boys, for the girls, you have these hats, for the boys, you want tie. You just write and talk to the author, email her. Like this is something you are looking forward for. Can you help? And she's definitely going to help her. Okay. So Beth Gordon, you can uh, see this. All alphabet play mats and lot many variations they keep on. See this? Lots of link cut and paste. If you're a crafty teacher, uh, you are going to love her uh, links and the website, which you can use it for free. All this is for free, whatever you can see. Just scroll down and you will see different alphabet. Everything is related to alphabets and phonics, coloring, alphabet, phonics, printables. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is one of the all-time favorite. And then I take you to the next one, which is a lovely. Uh, this one, Play-Doh to Plateau. Yeah. So here you can see CVC sound boxes. Okay. Uh, Play-Doh to Plateau. Uh, every month they keep on changing the resources. They keep on extending and adding up new things. So here, see, this is boxes. Yeah. And you just download the ebook. How you can use it with uh, the. Yeah. Download here. So once you click on download here, you have like maybe 30, 30 cards, printable cards or 40, 25, 50 varying according to the game. Okay. So always scroll down uh, till the end of the page to see what's in store for you. And this one is again, very interesting. Uh, three dinosaurs. Oh my God. The resources they have put in, it's going to tire you. It almost takes two to three days just to browse the contents of the website. And it's awesome. See the CBC wall family cards free. You just click on it. Yeah. This is a great addition to the uh, CBC world family printables on the side. And then here you can see. I see I have all I have a Xerox machine at home. <laughs> I have a lamination machine at home because <laughs> I deal with children day to day. And these are, and every resource is so tempting. You feel, oh, your child is going to love this. They're going to enjoy it. So, you know, I keep it very handy, all these things. And see this, how beautifully you can. And how can you maintain it? You can file it. You can laminate it. There are lot, many extra ideas. They share it with you so that it becomes very easy. And here, keep scrolling down to get free copy of CVC Word Family in case if you're looking forward for these free ones. So you just keep scrolling uh, here. Here, they have the links everywhere. You just click on it and they have like 20 pages, 30 pages of CVC Family Words. Okay, you just have to click. Click here to buy. So they have the uh, uh, buying version also. They have the free version also. But whatever free she is providing is also, see this, 
just a ring you just have to buy this ring and all the resources which which is available you can uh, compile it together it becomes very easy when the children comes to make them read yeah hmm. what is the free cvc how can you use it in the classroom all the examples have been given in detail click here to get a copy of free cvc word family wall cards so when you click it directly take you to the link where you just have to click on print okay here it is see this cvc word and uh, you can use it for your first graders or your kindergartens. And now, uh, here, one last sorting consonants diagraph, one of my most favorite, make, take, and teach. Yeah. So this is one particular craft. I'm holding it in my hand. I have made it from using this website, I guess. So here you can see. See this? Can you see? This is a diagraph activity. Four boxes. Even I'm holding the same thing. Okay, I have got a dog here. I even have a dinosaur. In this picture, they have got the frog, frog boxes. Okay, click here to download the free consonant diagraph pictures. If you are interested to make your children play this game, you just have to click here to download this particular game. And you can take a plastic containers or a variations. So the pictures are already given by the authors. You just have to print it and do it with the children. It is so quick, you know, you just need to know what you're looking forward for. And they have websites for everything. You just write uh, diagraphs, worksheets, you just write the thongs game, and you will get a list of the websites, which, but the most ones which I have used is Measured Mom, This Reading Mama, Three Dinosaurs, Make and Take, if you are a crafty teacher, Beth Gordon, as I told you, one, two, three, homeschool, all these, you must try if you are dealing with kindergartens and first and second graders, okay? For the phonics, these are the best ones, you know? I, I mean, I, I assure you about it as I've used it with my children uh, and they really enjoy and they look forward for my class. So this was all I had to share. The other mixed subject websites, uh, you would be provided as a um, Excel, uh, uh, you know, Excel notes so that you can refer to those also. But these are the ones which I have tried and tested. So thank, thank you so much, Miss Hema. That was fabulous. I mean, I, I myself would like to, you know, try out some of these worksheets. They're so attractive. Thank you very much, ma'am. I will now call upon Mr. Chandan to take over and uh, who will be followed by Mr. Koshal. Mr. Chandan, are you there, sir? Thank you, Miss Hema. These are fantastic. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And I am sure teachers are going to love, uh, you know, sharing, and especially the younger uh, right. students, exactly. you know, they will love it, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank amazing. You. Yes, as Ms. Rakhi has mentioned, amazing sites. Thank you very much. Mr. Chandan and Mr. Koshal, are you here? We request you to take up. I also am unable, I mean, I'm also able to share now, so I will also share a couple of math and science uh, sites. Ms. Rakhi? Yes. Yes, Mr. Yes. Koshal, please go ahead. Please go so, ahead. good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, dear teachers. Uh, I can see that we are 30 participants. And as uh, Rakhi said, that uh, this shows our dedication as teachers that we are not going to quit and we are here for our learners. I was going through the presentation of uh, Lakshmi, ma'am, and uh, Hima. And we saw that some interesting websites and resources for the higher grades and the younger grades. So here I am as a middle school teacher sharing some resources of the middle school graders. As a mathematics teacher, we have very, very limited resources. But if we are able to use our creativity, we can increase and enhance those tools into our classroom and make some engaging exp experiences for us. Uh, so I'm going to share my uh, <clears throat> Google uh, screen with all of you. So the, my first and foremost go-to website is GeoGebra. So GeoGebra is a geometrical tool which is going to help students learn the basics of geometry. So if you can see on my screen, I have made a triangle. And if you see that there are three angles, namely angle A, angle B and angle C, which are written on the screen. I have used the tools which are there on the toolbar and using these basic tools, I have created a triangle. 
now when we talk about geometry in mathematics it is a very very dull subject it requires a lot of visualization and if the basics are not clear then it is becomes very difficult for students to jump from two dimensional to three dimensional object so geogebra is a very very interesting tool which helps the students understand the nuances of the two dimensional objects along with the three dimensional object a very simple and a basic property for triangles is 180 degree that is all the three angles will add up to 180 degree but the moment we bifurcate triangles we have six type of triangles three based on the sides and three based on the angle then it becomes very very difficult for students to visualize the angle then there are also properties related to medians and altitudes which we teach in class 7th and 8th so for a child to visualize it carefully for a child to visualize the concept of congruence very very carefully a child need to understand these basic two basic properties and i hope and i feel that geogebra is a very very great tool that we can take up to help our students with the thing my second tool that i would like to share here is <clears throat> uh could anybody tell me is my screen visible or not yes it's visible yeah so my second go to and very much interesting uh, application is mathigon there are different uh, types of uh, virtual manipulative websites that are there i am not promoting this but then i very much like this website so one very very simple and basic activity i would like to share is the prime factor circles it is very difficult for students to understand the difference between composite and prime number and later when these numbers are used to find out the highest common factor and lcm and then the divisibility rule and then in the senior classes when we teach them the factorization then the basics needs to be very much clear so i think uh, this is a very very great uh, way of helping the students understand who are prime numbers and who are composite numbers so suppose if you see uh let's take up this circle 1 and let's take up this circle 2 along with a circle 3 so if we see that all the three numbers are just made up of only one number that is only one factor is available but the moment i take up 18 and the moment i take up 9 you will see if i take out a cube you will see that both these numbers had 3 as the common factor so the moment when the student see that the numbers are made up of factors these are the different components that are multiplied to get a number then the students are able to visualize this abstract concept and take up the things that yes these are composite numbers and these are prime numbers and how they are utilized to find out the hcf and the lcm another tool that i very much use with my students is khan academy and quizy so after i have taught my lessons to my students how i am going to assess classroom assessments is already going on but then along with the watch uh, on offline uh, mode of assessment it is better to help the students with the online mode of assessments also so these are my two go to tools the first is the khan academy and the second is the quizies i prefer quizies over khan academy as a, i um, i'm a quizies ambassador also so what i do i quickly type on the quizzes the topic that i want i make a few changes inside the quizzes and then it is ready for my students to look take a look at the quiz and attempt the quiz another aspect that i would like to share about my teaching pedagogy is this wonderful application called make shala application so the it is available as a mobile application but currently i am showing you a web version so make shala is a bengaluru based company which is here to help teachers with different kinds of lesson plans that are there so i would like to share one lesson plan so suppose uh, this is a one lesson plan which is of class 6 that is the uh, fun with patterns so let's take a look at this lesson plan so when we come to this lesson plan there are two things the first is prepare so that is when you are going on the prepare mode you are able to see the things that what are the various components involved and how are we going to express the concept, component to my student and when we come to the teach mode 
then we have got a very beautiful powerpoint and which can be shared in the classroom and then the topic can be taught to my students so this is a very very go to website where i want a very detailed uh, lesson plan for my student and that is how my students are able to understand analyze and as part of the um, bloom's taxonomy all the components are available in the lesson plan so these are uh, some of my go to websites uh, which i shared very quickly along with that if i share the document that uh, has been provided to collate the maths websites these are some of the softwares or these are some of the websites that i use that is uh, kuta software illuminations uh, prodigy game again a very prodigy game a very very important and a very fun engaging platform for younger students to in to engage themselves in a mathematical game yet understand the concept in a very fun manner then we have the splash learn and the z that is beautifully creating webs uh, worksheets which can be shared with the student as uh, hema ma'am was also saying that uh, teachers help teachers provides you with a lot of worksheets and activities similarly the k5 uh, option also helps you with uh, some go to websites it can be worksheet sorry it can be worksheets which can be taken a print out of or it can be sampled and a uh, made accordingly to the needs of my student then there is one beautiful website called maths light which has some engaging learning resources for algebra and pre algebra so this is for classes 9 10 10th and 11th where the mathematics becomes very much dull but if you are a middle grade or a middle school teacher or a primary school teacher then uh, the websites that i shared mathicon khan academy quizzes make shala these all are beautiful websites which you can use also i would like to share about google earth that is a very simple yet a beautiful experience for the student so we have lot of chapters where we have to teach temperature we have lot of chapters where we have to teach the height the distance the area the perimeter so google earth comes in and it helps the mathematics teacher in consultation with the social science teacher to create a lesson plan where the temperatures can be brought in like the greenland temperatures along with the thar desert temperature a comparison can be made and the student is visually understanding the difference in the temperature then to find out the distances to find out the areas we have some these uh, six tools are there which are there on the left side of the panel if you see <clears throat> there's a beautiful scale so you can use this scale to measure suppose i click this point to this point so i get a distance so the students are able to visualize the distance then the teachers can uh, use this google earth to convert the distances that is conversion can happen from meter to kilometer centimeter to meter now once the conversions has been started on distance then it can be brought on to weight then it can be brought on to the quantity and accordingly the student can understand the things so this is how uh, we can integrate some google tools into our classroom and make our mathematics classroom fun and engaging so with this uh, i uh, conclude my session and uh, over to nagma ma'am thank you so much dear teachers thank you mr koshal that was so interesting believe me i wish to attend your classes sir <laughs> online if you are willing to <laughs> take me on as a student uh, teachers thank you for participating participating uh, we have a special list for you so while we are going to share that entire collated list which miss rakhi has helped us with we all uh, sent her our list and she has made the master copy that will be sent to all but all those who are in the meet just now if you could just type your there are two things i want you to do first and foremost type one site which you have been using the most whichever subject you are teaching it's absolutely fine just type the link to one website that you have been using the most first do that please everyone and after that the next and most important part because we are going to wind up in a minute or two so if you do this quickly it will be the best for you let us not have broad based terms like quizzes and all we want specific links to something that you have been using so if you say common lit or lit charts give us the link to the one as no that's what teachers i'll repeat myself 
uh, I don't want the website, which is fine. Thank you. This is fantastic. I am saying a link that, you know, when you, when you want to teach the one link that you have been um, sharing so much with everyone. So can you do that? Thank you so much. I can see some of you have already mentioned, which is fabulous. After you do that, I want all those who are present, of course, not the lead mentors, but all those who are present, I would suggest if you could share your email ID. This is to thank you for attending because um, it is not easy to devote our time to such community meets. That is why we salute the mentors because month after month, they are, uh, no, we do not want the quizzes link, Ms. Tarannum and everyone else, just listen. We do not want to know about ESL quiz or Cliff Notes or Spark Notes and Wakelet and all. I said one link. For instance, I shared a link at the very beginning. I said, you know, this is one link I would give which would really help. So one link which, you know, is your go-to link, a link that you cannot forget. Okay, fair uh, Fair enough, it's all right if you're not sharing, but can you all share your email IDs? Thank you so much for being present, being present minded. Uh, we will be sending you a special list. Uh, this comprises of uh, certain very interesting, uh, oh, I like that, uh, uh, Ms. Kupali Sangvi, thank you for sharing that. Uh, so everyone present here, please send us your email IDs. Uh, you will be sent a special, um, uh, you know, toolkit. But the list that Ms. Raki has collated, as we are the lead mentors, and as Ms. Raki uh, is the founder and the heart and soul of Teachers Help Teachers, she will be sending that to everyone, all right? So we thank you for your presence. Ms. Raki, would you like to conclude this session, ma'am? I thank Ms. Uh, Lakshmi, yeah, Ms. Hema, you. and Mr. Kaushal for being here with us. We also have a lot of work which has been done by Ms. Gunjan. Well, that also has been collated by Ms. Raki. Yes, Ms. Raki, please go on. Thank you, Ms. Nagma. Thank you so much for uh, presenting this whole session today. We have Chandan, who is our uh, THT lead mentor. However, owing to uh, the time constraint, we are uh, you know, yes. going to be ending it. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chandan. Thank you, Mr. Chandan, for showing up. Uh, yes, you are on mute. Yeah. Thank you. Now I can speak. Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> yeah. But however, Sorry since we are done, no, you know, no issues. Late. No issues. Uh, but I think uh, Kaushal sir is about to share the screen what I am about to, you know, talk. Oh, so, great. Uh, we would love to hear you. Okay. So we can take a poll. Is everyone ready for another two minutes? Then we can go ahead. Or uh, yes, what say people? Are we ready for another two minutes? Couple of minutes? Yes. Let the yes come in so that Chandan can go ahead. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Chandan. Public demand. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so I, uh, I think the screen is quite visible. So as you can see, this is the you know interactive uh, screen which we get when you you know type P H E T FET. It's basically a interactive simulative uh, app as well as the web browser which helps you in couple of subjects like science and mathematics and the earth science as well. Uh, you might be like you know wondering what this earth science is. So I will simply urge all of you to simply Google P H E T dot com and you will uh, reach on this is the previous screen and you can pick off pick your subject, your topic, and you can use the free uh, available resources for your classes. At the same time, uh, these interactive features allow you to like control and take your students through, uh, you know, any experiment or explanation uh, step by step as the way you used to like, you know, hello. Yeah, go ahead. I'll just check who's on unmute. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, Kaushal, sir, why don't you like, you know, uh, go on the chemistry section? Go back. It's a density. Okay, fine. We can we can uh, talk about this as well, and we can simply go to the chemistry section uh, because I have selected one very good, uh, you know, simulation for, to show all the wonderful educators who are present over here.
and the Rutherford experiment, the atomic bombardment. Yes, 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 yes. You can see uh, there is like, you know, one interesting uh, topic in the chemistry for like, uh, class nine onwards, where the Rutherford uh, simply did an experiment. He bombarded the alpha particles on the gold foil and uh, could able to notice that some al alpha particles were distracted from their original path. And later they like, you know, uh, concluded that this nucleus of the atom has positive charge. So uh, tap on the first one, tap on the first one. There are three simulations. Yes, tap on the first one. So you can see there are few things uh, which is mentioned over here. Uh, on the left side, you can see uh, there is a beam which represents the alpha particle bombardment. So why don't you caution cell simply tap on it so that uh, yeah, the alpha particles will start going. So tap on it and it will be like, you know, zoom. It's not working or working? No, sir, not, not. I'm just trying to tap it, uh, but it's not. Okay, uh, simply tap on the cross sign. Uh, go down or go up actually. Yes, tap here on the play icon. Ah, on, yes, the, on the yes, upper yes. side, yes, yes, yes. 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 Another four atom, this one, yes. This is the classic what, uh, what we use. So you can read out here. Uh, this is alpha particles on the left hand side. And on the right side, you can read the legends that is nucleus, electron energy level, alpha particle trace. So yes, you can see the moment he tap on the alpha particle, you can see that alpha particles are going and you know, whatever particle is going nearby the uh, nucleus is just deviated from its path. So uh, stop it simply stop it so in uh, 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 check the box traces on the left hand side sorry right hand side right hand side traces yes down yeah. down the second box alpha particle the second box which says alpha particle in yellow yeah yes now hit that alpha particles so all the participant will be able to see that how it, you know the alpha particles are moving away from the nucleus. So what being an educator we have to do is uh, simply give this link to the student and tell them feel free to do whatever you want to do. And after like, you know, they have spent good five to 10 minutes with this uh, experience, ask whatever they have observed to tell to the whole class. Then you might be, you know, surprised that whatever Rutherford concluded, the kids will be able to narrate you exactly those things. So these simulative features will allow your learner to experience what is like, you know, uh, next to impossible to experience and observe in a normal classroom situation because your chalk and duster is good in some cases, but you know, topic like this, that require uh, interactive features like this. So yeah, uh, this is it from my side. So it's all about the hands-on experience. The more student and the teacher will do it together, uh, the more they will enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you for like, you know, bearing me and sparing those five to 10 minutes extra. Thank you, fantastic. No, no, not at all. We didn't bear you. It was just that we had to take permission from uh, everyone since we, uh, you know, we went uh, overboard. Uh, so that's the reason why uh, the permission was required for you to go ahead. But uh, love your enthusiasm. Thank you so much for showing up. And uh, uh, now that uh, we uh, are towards the end of the session, there are going to be two important links that I'm going to be sharing. One is going to be of the toolkit for all the members who are present here, who have committed uh, and who have spent the evening with us. So I'm going to be sharing this uh, Google Drive link uh, with all of you. 
uh, what you can do is you can make a copy save it share it with your school members as well and uh, one request if if any one of you would like to add to this you are also an editor however the editor access is open only till tonight so one request would be that uh, immediately after our session if you can contribute one or two resources of yours which you have been using regularly uh, uh, pre-pandemic post pandemic during pandemic doesn't matter but something which is useful and uh, will will also help other educators other fellow educators so if you could just list down that with your name or without your name however you wish to do it we would really be thankful because this toolkit will then be circulated to all the community members and that's how uh, you know we we can give back to the community and expect uh, the learning to be taken forward after all what are we going to be doing with so much of knowledge right we need to spread it so uh, that's one request and the other request is if you found this um, video useful if you found this community catch up useful uh, please do uh, stay connected with us we have a facebook group uh, by the name uh, teachers help teachers uh, so please be connected with us we have a website where we have uh, loads and loads of resources available and the name of the website is teachers help teachers dot in for those of you who are new can visit our website and uh, help us know how else can we improve it and what are the things that we can do for you that's my little one he's hungry so i need to go back to him and that's the reason why these things are happening in the background and last but not the least i'm going to be playing a song before we end it's one of my favorite song and i i believe that uh, since we are nearing the weekend so it's something which is going to uh, pep us up and set the tone for the weekend but before i do that uh, there's one small uh, request from all of you. Uh, there's a link that I'm sharing and that is only if you have liked today's session and if you've liked the efforts taken by all the mentors today uh, who have been working uh, continuously uh, irrespective of whatever they have been doing, the events that are happening in school, the examination, the papers, all that is happening for all of them. But yet they are committed and you saw how even uh, last minute uh, Chandan was here to actually share, you know, uh, and and help the community grow. So I love the commitment of each and every mentor to show up every month. And that's something which I'm grateful to all of you for doing it. Uh, thank you so much for, for the service of yours. And if you have liked today's session, please leave us a review as it will help us grow and also help other educators know more about us uh, because uh, the whole aim is to reach out to a million educators and not only limited to our country but globally where all of us can learn from one another so that's the whole uh, vision of teachers help teachers to build a community of more than a million teachers where we all can learn from one another peer-to-peer -peer learning is the best way of learning so please do leave us a review i have shared the link it's the trust pilot link where the review will help us uh, grow our community and also help other teachers know more about us so that's one request and now i'm going to be ending the session with my favorite song those of you who would like to stay and enjoy uh, uh, the song with me i'm going to be there you can stay back enjoy the song and you can even shake your leg in case you would like to do that because it's it's a very very peppy number that i'm going to be sharing with all of you oh. and uh, no that's not the number i'm sharing it's a surprise so here i go you can watch it you can shake a leg and set the tone for the weekend can you hear it can everybody hear? Jerusalem, Is the sound? Can you hear the sound? I can. I can. Maybe you can log in and log out again. Jerusalem, Ikayalami. This is one of my favorite song with whenever you're feeling low, just play this number and you will be all set. Oh, 